Green tea might be good for your teeth. Researchers from China's Wuhan University have found a new way to treat sensitive teeth using a green tea extract. Teeth may become sensitive when tooth enamel gets worn off, which exposes the dentin tissue underneath. Food or bacteria that comes into contact with nerve endings through the tubules in dentin tissue is what causes pain. Scientists have found that a green tea polyphenol known as EGCG can fight Streptococcus mutans bacteria, which is what form biofilms that cause cavities. Researchers combined EGCG with a mineral called nanohydroxyapatite. The mixture successfully plugged exposed dentin tubules, preventing further erosion. This technology can reportedly be used to treat both tooth sensitivity and cavities, possibly in the form of a toothpaste additive. Don't let YouTube ad bots dictate what Tomo News reports. Support us at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Researchers are finding new ways to make your trips to the dentist less painful. Alzheimer's drug can help teeth regenerate. A team of British University researchers may soon eradicate the need for dentist fillings. Dentists currently use fillings to repair tooth decay and holes in teeth, but these are often permanent, meaning the tooth's protective minerals never fully regenerate. Scientists from King's College London have found that Tide Glucid, a drug traditionally used to treat Alzheimer's, can help teeth repair themselves. During testing, biodegradable collagen sponges were given a protective coating and soaked with the drug before being inserted into holes in the teeth of mice. When the sponge began breaking down, researchers discovered that teeth were able to naturally heal themselves. The team plans to carry out the next phase of testing on rats. If that's successful, they will then apply to experiment on human patients. New cavity treatment to make drilling and filling obsolete. UK scientists have developed a new technique that encourages teeth to self-repair as a novel way to treat tooth decay in a breakthrough they hope will make drilling and filling a thing of the past. In conventional treatment, a dentist first opens a hole and extracts the decayed area from the rotten tooth. Next, the cavity is filled with materials such as amalgam or composite resin. The new treatment takes advantage of minerals including calcium and phosphate that naturally flow in and out of the teeth in processes known as remineralization and demineralization. Dental cavities develop when minerals are lost without sufficient replenishment, enabling bacteria to penetrate into the tissue of the teeth. Researchers at King's College London have created a new device that uses a minor electrical current to direct a mineral cocktail into the cavity, promoting self-repair. The scientists have set up a company named Riminova and are currently seeking private investors. The procedure could be available within three years. Pentagon Developing Anti-Cavity Combat Gum The Pentagon is developing a combat gum that would kill disease-carrying bacteria in the mouths of soldiers in the field. Dental emergencies account for 10% of all injuries that cause soldiers to be evacuated from the battlefield. There are 47 dental emergencies, ranging from the mildly uncomfortable, such as gingivitis, moderately painful like pericoronitis, and severe like a totally avulsed tooth. To avoid such dental complications, the Pentagon has developed a new gum, nicknamed combat gum, containing an antimicrobial peptide that fights plaque, cavities, and periodontal disease. Peptides are very fast-acting, killing bacteria within five minutes. Soldiers would be asked to chew the gum three times a day, for up to 20 minutes after each meal. Combat gum would cost, at least at first, about $2 per piece and would therefore be reserved for high-risk soldiers, which total around 15% of the fighting force. Colonel Robert Hale, commander of the Army's Dental and Trauma Research Detachment, predicts that combat gum could save the military as much as $100 million each year. Hey Tomo Sapiens, help us beat the ad bots by joining our Patreon news squad at patreon.com slash Tomo News. To promote better oral health, researchers in Berlin have created a new candy containing a bacteria they say is able to reduce cavities. Researchers have added a bacteria called Lactobacillus paracasi to the new beneficial candy. According to researchers, after eating, bad bacteria deposited on the surface of the teeth release acids able to dissolve tooth enamel, which eventually lead to cavities. 
Chewing the candy releases friendly bacteria into the saliva. The bacteria then locks on to the corrosive bacteria, forming a clump, which reduces the harmful bacteria's ability to stick to the surface of teeth and cause cavities. The new candies could be available within the next year or two. Scientists are also working on developing toothpastes and mouthwashes containing the friendly bacteria.